Okay, I'm going to show you uh, an illusion that you might choose to do. This is called uh, the anti-gravity ramps. I'm sending you the link to the pattern for how to make this. Now you can see why this works. Whoops. Okay, that's going downhill. You can see it, but from the opposite perspective. They look like they're going uphill. Okay, so what you want to do first is you want to print out the sheets that I'm giving you and they're going to look like this. And you're going to have a pattern for the base and a pattern for the ramps and then for the pedestals. Right, now before you cut these out, you're going to want to score them to make them easy to fold. So you take a ruler and opening up your scissors. And just score it along the fold lines. And then you're going to find that when you print them out, the folds are just going to fold right up. Okay, then you can take some tape and tape them together. Now I'm also sending the links to some a slideshow that shows you how to put this together. Each of the pedestals has a number on it that corresponds to a ramp. Okay, and it's a very slanted looking piece of equipment. You can see that the pedestals are very slanted looking. And they some of them hang over, and that's okay. It's actually easier if you put it together upside down, and then you put the pedestal on it afterwards. And it works best if you're videotaping the end result. It's hard to see it if you're just looking straight on it. And so you're welcome to use the iPad to do that videotaping. And good luck. This took me about, what, an hour? Mm -hmm. This project took me about an hour to do, but because Rachel Simmons had done it before me, it was much easier for me to see how to do it because she brought in an actual model of this. If you bring this into class, we'll need to use the iPad to show it on the TV so that your eye can be fooled from the perspective.